Hi, my name is Kyle Kynes. I work here at the Cheeky Monk, the Denver location. I'm here today to talk to you about Belgian beers and how important it is that it goes in the proper glass. So as you can see in front of me, we have quite a different selection of glassware, and believe it or not, all of these are different beer glasses. Uh, we don't carry every single beer glass out there because we don't carry every single style of beer. You know, we're missing out on mugs and boots for different styles from different countries. But for Belgium, and the different styles, it's quite a variety of glasses. You can see over here, we have different flutes. Um, and you move over, we even have your goblets or chalets, uh, the quad glass, damn thing sexy. And then we have our tulip and our sort of tulip hybrids. The first beer that we'll be pouring is the Oublon Schuf. Uh, with the Belgium glass, where it's important to give it a spritz of water first, it's just cold water. It's gonna rinse out any dust or sanitizer, something that might leave a residual aromatic factor or a flavor. There's nothing worse than drinking a fantastic beer, but smelling the pool or like smelling like pool or chemicals. As the head's growing, you're gonna wanna cut it. Cutting the head kill, cuts the bigger bubbles and helps release the aromatic factors. The Oublon Schuf is poured into a flute style glass. This particular glass is really gonna help with the carbonation to bring out the volatiles and the aromatic factors that will really help showcase what this beer is about. The next beer we're gonna pour is the Castel Rouge. It is poured into a goblet. Some goblets have etching at the bottom to help promote the carbonation. Um, this particular glass does not, but it does have our lovely gold rim. One more time, we're gonna give it a nice spritz of cold water just to rinse out any of the sanitizer or any of the dust that might've collected over time. Once again, cut the head. Just to get rid of any of those larger bubbles, you wanna maintain that head as long as possible because the longer that head stays, the longer you're gonna maintain the flavor of that beer. People think it might be a joke, but it really does make a difference. You know, when you drink through that head of the beer, I kinda, I call them flavor crystals for your nose, just because as they pop and as you drink through, you're gonna smell it, you're gonna taste it. A beer without a head is completely different. The importance of a different style of glassware is where they want the beer to hit you on your palate. You know, something this right here, you can take very large gulps of, it's gonna hit you further back, opposed to a different style of glassware where it's gonna hit you on the front of the palate. So depending on the brewer and what they want you to experience from the beer, they're gonna decide which glass to go into. So a lot of these Belgian beer glasses, they have a line on the back for the proper pour. So it's beer to the point, head to the rest of it. The people in this country aren't really used to it just yet, about Belgian beers and different styles of glasses. So when you serve them beer that's half head and they don't really get it, they're like, oh, could you top that off? You say, well, actually, sir, that is the proper pour for the glass. As you can see, we have a ton of different glassware from flues to tulips and somewhere in between. And it's very important to have the right glass with the right beer. The reason we have all this glassware is to bring out the flavor, the aromatics, and really showcase this beer for what it is. It's amazing beer. The brewers of this beer take great pride of it. And as bartenders, I think we should too. To learn more about the products seen in this video, visit our website at www.foodservicewarehouse.com.